So our World Cup party is over, but Carl still hasn't scored with Paige. Somebody carry you? He's seriously sweating her, and I'm not so sure the feeling is mutual. There is a connection, right? Um... Jordan is a complete wild card. Can I call Carl in for an assist? Did you just proposition him for a three-way? He f***ed with my girl, Danielle, and out of nowhere, brought up Everett. You, like, moved into another guy's apartment, and he, like, held that over you. How would you know, Jordan? Shut the f*** up. But in the end, we're good, as long as he doesn't bring up the E-word again. I'm liking Hannah more and more every week. <laughs> but the girl does need a little bit of guidance. I am a savage when I flirt. We need to teach you how to be a girl flirt. I thought Kyle and Amanda were back on track until a huge fight told me otherwise. I am sorry I cheated on you. I can only hope Amanda continues to hold his ass to the fire. If you dig your own grave, that's on you. I will prove to you that I'm capable of making good decisions. Just don't f up. But it's hard to make good decisions when you're in love. I don't want to get too excited about this date. You don't want me to get too excited? No, I don't want to get too excited. Oh. I already am, though. Weekend was fun. The group this year has just been like everybody's having fun. There's two new girls in the house with us at Hannah and Paige. Um, Paige, right? We've made out a couple times. These are things your mother really wants to hear. But anyway. Well, you want to know the update of my dating life? I'm sure. My mom is my best friend. My parents finalized a divorce last November. Having to face this next part of her life on her own, that's been really hard for her, and in turn, hard on me. <laughs> it's hard. You know what's not hard? Is calling you my mom. <laughs> I've been kind of concerned about you and work. That's been a lot of stress for you, I think. Um, it's tough. I will say, like, this job right now, like, I'm not, I don't feel great every day. Like, I've been really stressed out. You know, I've been kind of thinking in my head maybe about looking at another opportunity. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm just swimming uphill and, um, I think it's upstream. Well, I was just trying to make it more impossible. Life's too short to be too stressed. I hear you. Okay, kiddo, I love you. Love you, too. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> my dad's gonna come pick me up. I need to look like I have my sh together. What time is everyone wanting to leave today? That's a great question. Hello? Hello? I miss you. <laughs> it's only been like two days. <laughs> my whole family was in the Hamptons for my grandpa's birthday party. Every day is a party. <laughs> so my dad's going to drive me back into the city. Check this out. I want to show you the pool and the tennis court. Wow. My dad and I are actually a lot closer than a lot of father-daughters because he was my tennis coach. Look at this thick court. Oh, nice. <laughs> As my coach, there were so many tears shed, a lot of fights, but now he's a little more like my best friend and less of the coach that I'm trying to impress. You want to meet my dad? Your dad's here! Yeah! I like a good dad when I see Carl one. Carl loves a good dad. Do you? <laughs> I do, Carl. Carl? I, do. I, will say I am Lindsay. My goal for Hannah this summer is to, like, girlify her just a little. What if I don't want to be girlified by you? Pleasure meeting you guys. Bye, guys. All right, let's pack. Let's go. Boom. Boom. Oh, bitch. What you got in here? Dead body? <laughs> F you. All your ex-boyfriends? <laughs> Bye, house.
So there's a party coming up. It's okay. a St. Bart's party. It's in the Hamptons this Saturday. We were thinking of offering Julon food. I think we can definitely pull it off. Perfect. Oh, let's go, baby. Latte with oat milk. Anything else? That's it. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good, what's up? You gonna be okay? Oh, I muted you. It's probably intentional. <laughs> Last weekend, Kaya and I hit a low point. You are Kyle, literally I'm... in a dark place. Why are you such an asshole? Why are you an asshole? I'm not. When he drinks excessively, I'm instantly reminded of the past. So Kyle and I came to an understanding. If he can't make good decisions, then I can walk away. So your choice, Kyle. Make your move. I was actually looking at the concepts that our branding agency sent for Loverboy, and it's like, actually mind-boggling how far we've come. You <laughs> guiding them and providing much better feedback than I ever could have, I think is what made the difference here. I know. You're lucky to have me. I'm very lucky to have you. I'm really excited about going into business together. In the front, you really get, like, the peach flavor. And hopefully moving in together. We're in the clouds. I know that I f***ed up last weekend, but I will do whatever it takes to prove to Amanda that I'm 110% committed. I'm just very, very...